Hey everyone, thanks for, for joining me today. So today we're going to take a look at Memento Lux inks. And I have these two. Um, it's the Tuxedo Black and uh, Rich Cocoa. And whenever you get these inks, whether it be Memento or Versafine, whichever ink it is on the back, they always have a detail of what's the best, you know, materials to use it with. And this one, it says you can use it for paper, fabric, wood, leather, and more. Um, and being a pigment ink, I'm going to try and remember to link to my other video where I talk about the markers and what inks are best to use it from um, use with them excuse me and uh, I talk about pigment inks in that video as well so you saw I just stamped in the black and as soon as I rubbed my finger across the image it spread okay so remember with pigment inks you have to allow it time to dry if you're not if you're impatient and you can't wait that long then what you do is you use clear embossing powder which is what we're getting ready to do right here and I'm just I have it in the container with a little ice cream spoon and I'm just gonna brush it on real quick and you can see the image itself is kinda like dull now but as I get my heating tool and it's going to take a second to warm up only because I didn't warm it up before shooting the video. But as it goes around and it heats up, it now gives it a sheen. And I'm going to try and hold it up close so you can see it. Um, I'm trying to see. There it is. There's the shine. So it took of, you know, the picture, it made it where it was the pigment ink is sealed under the clear embossing and so I could rub my fingers across it and not smear it. It works awesome. So with the Rich Cocoa, I wanted to show you this one because what I love about these powders is you can use any embossing powder on it. So this is the brown, the Rich Cocoa, and I'm just going to dump it here with some of my gold embossing powder. And because the pigment ink stays wet a little bit longer, it sticks to the Memento ink. It works just like the Versamark. So if you don't have Versamark and you have the Memento, Memento Lux, you can still do everything that the rest of us are doing with the Versamark with that. And then once you heat it up, you get this really pretty gold shine. See it there? I mean, it works literally the same way. Now, with the black, I'm going to show you one more time. Just, you know, if you want to keep the black or the brown, use the clear. If you want to, you know, say you're doing Christmas cards, you don't have Versafine, but you have black and, um, you know, pigment ink, use your stamp. Stamp it up and then use your glitter uh, embossing powders, your gold, your silver. On this one we're going to use silver right here. And I, once I get it in there, just gotta... I had the clips on my lids, but they really weren't working that well. So I just let them go in there. So I'm just spooning over the silver embossing powder. Now, the pictures might not be so great because I didn't use the embossing powder, you know, treat the paper beforehand. I'm just showing you about the, the inks and how they work, okay? Now, on this one, it's going to be a little hard to see because, you know, silver and gold with the lights and everything and the cameras, sometimes they're hard to pick up. But, once again, the main thing is it's not smearing. The embossing powder is melted. And you get these beautiful embossed flowers. Now I'm going to flip it over on the back real quick and I want to show or go over one more thing um, with you. Let me move some of this out the way. 
So real quick, once again, I'm going to stamp in the brown and show you with my finger. It's really, it's kind of hard to see, but it spreads. It's, it's going to smear a little if you stamp it and like your hand brushes against it or, you know, what have you. I'm using on this one right now the Versafine uh, Black Onyx and I just stamped that one and I wanted to show you that that one it kind of works the same idea as the other ones and um, how it it spreads right when you stamp it you gotta be careful because it can create like a shadow around your project if you're you know touching it with your hands so pigment inks you gotta allow time for it to dry if you're not using embossing powders I would suggest to hit it with your heating tool anyway so it would speed up the drying time but the memento Lux, I mean they are really quite awesome they, they really are I, I like them I like using um, using them for embossing I know a lot of people didn't realize that you can emboss with them and really and truly you could put down the black and emboss it in green it doesn't matter the fact that it's still a wet ink and you gives it time enough for the embossing powder itself to stick to it that's all that matters so I just stamped again the memento Lux in the black right and it's it kind of comes out gray well say I want it to be darker you know I want it to be a vibrant more you know eye-catching black so what I'm doing right now is I'm just spreading the black embossing powder over top of the memento ink and then we're gonna heat it up and it is it's I don't know ever since I started crafting embossing is probably that one technique that no matter how many times I do it at the end it's kinda like wow I don't know what it does but it does something to the cards am I right so there you have the black Mento Lux covered in black embossing. So that one we did clear, and then that one's with the um, black embossing powder. So the, if you don't have Versamark itself, no worries. Get you a pigment ink. The shop carries the Memento Lux. Get you a heat tool. Um, you can do the Ranger heat tool. Whatever heat tool works for you. Just don't use your regular hair dryer, okay? Because it doesn't get hot enough and you'll be there all day. But in a pinch, I guess, you know, if you wanted to try it. But um, I would just suggest playing with it. Embossing is a lot of fun. And even if you make a mistake, you can always redo it, okay? So thank you guys for, you know, spending time with me today. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button and links to the scrapbooking with me boutique is going to be down below have a great one